morning, everybody. Uh, my name again is Alec Tote, country leader for Concentrix. Very pleased to be here. Um, and we are different by design. We cut across the grain, and that's going to go ahead and be part of my, my topic for this morning. Um, but before I start that, uh, I just want to clear up two things. Um, one, that's not me in the picture, standing next to the, the tiger. It's the same haircut, uh, maybe the same suit in appearance, but it's, it's not me. Um, thank you for uh, the invitation, Richard and Rebecca, another great event. Uh, very, very compelling um, topic or, or subject matter matter, deciding our fate. Uh, so that's why I went ahead and uh, picked something, like I said, that cu cuts across the grain a bit. Um, the problem, fraud. Um, only the good guys get hurt in this. Um, so uh, the consumer, the client, their brands, their shareholders, our shareholders, and, and our people. So nobody wins when we have fraudulent activity. Um, and what I want to go ahead and talk to you about is how can we go ahead and be better about preventing it uh, from, from spreading where it is. Worst case scenario, we know it's happened before. We never want it to go ahead and happen again. Uh, we have over a million people directly employed by our uh, industry. And with a, a multiplier effect, that's five jobs more for each of those individuals. Um, so a lot at risk. We want to go ahead and protect the Philippines. We heard it's a very special environment, very special place. I agree. It's definitely a preeminent uh, destination for voice. And we need to go ahead and keep it that way. So the status quo. I'm sure all of us have um, pretty much risk frameworks and um, multitude of programs and activities to go ahead and prevent this uh, type of activity. Uh, at Concentrix, we started indoctrination. Uh, we have anonymous um, communication channels, um, confidentially speaking, and alert us. We have FMEA, which is a framework to go ahead and identify risk bilaterally with our customers, go ahead and document those, ensure that we have mitigation strategies in place. Uh, we have a campaign called Be the Hero, uh, where we go ahead and try to motivate people to go ahead and call attention to bad behavior. Um, we focus on leadership training to go ahead and set the right expectations, develop the right culture. Um, QA compliance team, obviously very, very important as far as being um, kind of the, the front line protection for the organization. We even started tips for cash um, and, and uh, really um, highlight constant vigilance um, on behalf of our team. So the reality, um, all of that is only part of the answer. Uh, even though we focus on our core values, we go ahead and have risk management frameworks and, and actions. Without something more, we're going to go ahead and constantly be susceptible to this type of behavior. So a little story, our first attempt. So just uh, last year, we uh, identified individuals who had uh, set up dummy accounts, were going ahead and funneling monies to themselves. Um, and it was a big deal for us, our clients. Um, so we thought we did everything right. We brought the police into the, uh, the facility. We had the individuals arrested. Um, and then our first challenge was, what police station do we take them to? <laughs> um, so we went to one. They said, sorry, not interested. So we went to another. We finally found uh, a police station willing to go ahead and take these individuals, assist us in booking them, um, and um, putting them into uh, a cell. We were working with external counsel to go ahead and um, take the next legal steps. Um, but within 48 hours, uh, these slick customers went ahead and um, got themselves released, never were charged, and never to be seen or heard from again. Very frustrating, uh, very disappointing. So the solution. So for those of you who know this individual, uh, this is Al Capone, notorious gangster from uh, the 20s and 30s in the United States. The, uh, he was so brutal um, that no one would go ahead and agree to testify against him. Those that did, 
mysteriously met with accidents, um, were coerced, um, things of that nature. So the government was uh, very frustrated. How do we go ahead and clean up this activity? How do we get this guy off the street, out of uh, uh, doing his nefarious activities? And they came upon an opportunity by using the tax code. They realized that he hadn't gone ahead and submitted a tax return in over 10 years, and based on his lifestyle, they were able to prove that he had all kinds of ill-gotten gains, and that's how they went ahead and put him into jail. So what I'm going to go ahead and share with you is a little bit about our journey and what we think is uh, the next uh, step in uh, solving this, this problem. So last year, um, we, uh, Brian uh, Putt uh, from my team, the risk team, uh, attended this cybercrime uh, convention. And one of the presentations uh, was about the Sony hack. So the, the key learning out of that was that by having better relationships offshore with the US embassies and those teams, um, they were able to go ahead and pursue, investigate, and prosecute much more um, positively and efficiently than, than otherwise would have been possible. So with that learning, uh, Brian went ahead and uh, met some folks at the US Embassy. Uh, we have an FBI contingent there. Um, we have other law enforcement. And they were able to go ahead and um, introduce us in uh, January, because of course we had to have a break for the holidays. Um, to go ahead and introduce us to some folks from the, uh, the NBI and the PNP. And through conversations with regards to what we we're attempting to accomplish, um, we actually found out that uh, what we want to do is uh, very possible. Um, so the mechanism. So Republic Act 2012-10175, Section 4, System Interference. Um, system interference gives us the leverage that we didn't have before because one of the uh, seemingly underlying principles of Philippine uh, law is you have to catch people in the act in order to go ahead and prosecute. Very, very difficult with computer uh, activity. But this act actually goes ahead and says if an individual signs on with a unique um, username and password, effectively, that puts them at the scene of the crime. That's huge for us. So not only that, but it goes ahead and carries a 200,000 peso fine and up to seven years for each incidence. So if someone goes ahead and does 10 illegal transactions, that's 10 incidences. So I think something that's been missing for a long time in our space is deterrence and real consequences. With this, we believe we can go ahead and establish both because the other underlying benefit of um, the Republic Act is that uh, with the charge, we can go ahead and have um, the NBI flagged. So part of everyone's recruiting process is you know, bring your NBI. But in the past, it's been really difficult to go ahead and hold people accountable to the behavior. And now, we'll be able to go ahead and um, take the, the information. The biggest learning from this is uh, midway through this chart, um, the prosecutor green light chat. So obviously, we'll go ahead and um, collect the incidents occurred, we'll collect the evidence, we'll get the appropriate affidavits, we'll go ahead and um, executive summary, and then we'll go see the prosecutor. The prosecutor is going to go ahead and give thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on the strength of the case. Nobody likes to lose, so obviously you need to have a strong case. But once the prosecutor goes ahead and gives that green light, um, interaction with the, the PNP, um, and then we can go ahead and file the charges, and then once the charges are filed, we can go ahead and bring that charge sheet to the NBI, and the NBI is committing to us that they will go ahead and flag the, the NBI clearances of those individuals. The future. Um, 
very short presentation, cuts across the grain, um, but I really wanted to go ahead and share that with you because I think it is important for our industry. It will go ahead and make a difference. Um, as Richard said, I'm prior military. I believe in accountability and structure um, and honor, duty, integrity. And that's something I wanted to go ahead and share with all of you for the betterment of our industry. If you have any questions, um, Brian Putt, sitting over there. Uh, Brian, can you stand up? Um, Brian's more than welcome to uh, assist, and I've also gone ahead and put his email address on uh, the presentation. So hopefully you found that uh, interesting. Uh, we we're hoping to go ahead and bring an actual case and be able to say um, we've accomplished this, but I think we're still about 30 days away from that. But maybe, maybe I'll get invited back to go ahead and provide an update at some point in time in the future. But thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of the day.